Who do you think should be our number one goalkeeper next season? Uh, Petra Cech. Um, Ospina and Chesney. Chesney, they both, they both give me concerns. They, they are good keepers on their day, but they do make mistakes. But we need to go out and buy a consistent keeper that's proven, and I think Cech's the one that's out there, and he won't be too expensive. I know he's 32, but you know, it's, you're getting a guy that's going to could be around for another three or four years, and I think he should be our first choice keeper next year, and one of our first choice signings. I think um, didn't uh, when did Van der Sar get signed for Man United? He was still quite. He was 32 or around yeah, yeah. there. He was, was he was he was at the top of his game when he was you know early 30s. So yeah, you know buying a keeper at that age isn't a problem. They they can hang around till they're 40 and still be a world class keeper. So yeah, I think age is not so important when you're a goalie. You know I know Chesney's young. He's only 23, 24, and he's potentially a good. He is a good player, but he just makes mistakes. And the has started doing it as well. So. I would look at somebody like Czech to be, yeah, first choice and one of our main and one of our main signings for next season. Well, if you ask me, it should be Petr Czech, and the club should do whatever they can to get him to the club. And I think that's just because Ospina, whilst he's been solid since he he replaced Chesney, I think he's not really world class, and Petr Czech is definitely world class. And if you look over the last couple of games, Ospina's actually cost us a couple of goals, whereas. If you had checking goals, I'm sure that he'd win you points, much like De Gea has over the course of the season. And obviously, for Chesney to be dropped in place of a spinner, he's not quite up to the task either, if you ask me. I still reckon it's Chesney. Um, he might have not, not been playing the best, best, form, best, best of his form this season, but he's still got the experience, and I, I reckon he'll, he, he's got something to offer. He's still quite young as well. He, he is. Um, and I, I still reckon he's world class. I reckon he's still got room, to, room for improvement. If he just uh, knuckles down and get, just get everything else off, off the field right, I reckon he'll be one of the be one of the best players in one of the best keepers in um, in the Premier League. Here's something I'm very passionate about. I'm pretty much getting sick of all the fans saying we need to sign another goalkeeper. To have a squad that needs to challenge for titles, you need depth and you need competition. We have two very good keepers in Ospina and Chesney. I won't actually say who I think should be number one. I think they've both got their quality. But Chesney was number one. He was performing. He stopped performing. He had a bad run of form. He got replaced. That's what happens in a squad that needs to compete for a title. Both great keepers. Hopefully they both sign next year. Or hopefully Chesney stays is what I should say. And we go on to better things. Check can jog right on. He's a Chelsea player. We don't need him. We've got two great keepers as it stands. And hopefully they push each other to bigger and better things. I think people are forgetting the Almunia Fabianski years where we were conceding howlers like every three or four games. And Chesney had a bad game and rightfully against um, against Southampton and rightly dropped. That's what happens in a big team. You get dropped and somebody takes your place. You come bigger and better back from that and that's what it is about competition. That's what about having squad depth is. This isn't FIFA. You don't go out and just swap a player, buy a player, swap a player, buy a player. Chesney's so dedicated to this club. He's been there for so many years. Give the boy a chance. Who knows, he might come back from this whole, this whole debacle and be one of the best keepers in the world. And I think he's got the ability to do that. So good luck to the boy and I love him and I love Ospina as well. And hopefully they push each other. And that's what it's all about. And Martinez as well, push him as a third goalkeeper. So, you know, can't complain about our goalkeeping situation. If anybody does, they've got their head in the wrong spot because goalkeeper is not our problem. Simple as that. I believe Ospina still shows the sheer experience and coolness under pressure. There has been games where he slipped up and he's shown a bit of, uh, I guess, uh, anxiety and a bit of nervousness. Uh, I believe though that he shows something that Chesney is still gaining. Uh, uh, just the sheer experience and the coolness under pressure.